Hi guys, um, I had some issues to upgrade the firmware uh, of my Leica SL2S from uh, 5.3 or what it was, or 5.2 uh, to 6.0. And um, I tried first everything uh, what you could do normally, like uh, different cards, format completely in the body, fresh formatted card. Uh, nothing helped um, after um, copying the firmware image to the card, inserting it into the Leica SL2S and uh, trying to execute the firmware upgrade, uh, how it's described uh, in the manual. Uh, nothing happened, the camera didn't detect the upgrade on the card, that was the issue. And um, I figured out a solution. Uh, figured out the workaround for this and in this video I gonna show you uh, how to solve that problem if you uh, suffer of the same issue. Uh, first of course a disclaimer if you do not follow exactly what I'm doing here uh, you risk to uh, erase everything on your uh, hard drive, on your SSD or hard drive whatever uh, Mac system you are using um, and you're doing that for that on your own risk just to make that clear there is a program on your uh, Mac OS or OS X uh, it's called terminal you can start that by uh, depending on the language settings and so on by pressing command space and uh, then the pop, uh, the spotlight search pops up and you just type in uh, terminal. And of course it's already open now on my screen. And then the terminal opens. And uh, all the operations uh, we are doing, uh, we must execute on the terminal because if you open your like a SL2S uh, SSD card, you don't see the files here. <clears throat> there are some ways to make uh, hidden files uh, visible, but uh, I definitely do not recommend this because if you forget to reset that, you, yeah, it's no good idea. And um, for that, we're doing it manually within the terminal. So what's the case? Uh, you need, of course, to download. I will put the link in the description. Uh, first, your firmware upgrade. In this case, it's the Leica SL system. Then, uh, my browser is set. I'm in Switzerland, and for that, my browser is set to um, German. And uh, or the cookies uh, have just been saving Switzerland German. And for that, everything here pops up in German. I do not want to change that for uh, this. Um, a video and uh, but I think you can follow along also in English or all other languages. Then the subcategory is for example like I say cameras and uh, then theme is firmware and then you get a list of um, uh, the firmware upgrade and uh, in my case it was the Leica SL2S firmware which you can download here and you can of course also do the uh, lens uh, the lens firmware upgrade i did this already everything uh, and after copying the, the firmware upgrade directly in to the root directory of a fresh formatted uh, sd card i tried several sd cards sandisk sony uh, tough or rough or how they called nothing worked <clears throat> uh, and um, then I thought by myself, okay, maybe it can be that all these uh, weird file name settings, um, the macOS system applies um, also uh, on to the SSD cards, which you do not see here. And um, to find this, you must know how the card mounts in the computer and uh, it everything starts on the Macintosh operating system because it's a Unix operating system with a big slash followed by volumes and then the name of your SSD card what is Leica SL2S 
in case of you have been uh, formatting it uh, in uh, the body of uh, your camera. And the only thing what is different is I always apply my own uh, icons here. And for that, uh, I have here this beautiful Leica SL2S icons and not something uh, like uh, standard normal Macintosh uh, thing. So the, the true path of this directory is slash volume slash Leica SL2S. And for that, you go to the terminal if you want started if if uh, command space does not work uh, you can also start spotlight by clicking on this uh, magnifying glass here spotlight search uh, pops up and then you type terminal and it's sufficient if it looks like that you can click here or just press enter and terminal opens so next thing you can do you must do is pr is prompt a command that it's called it called cd change directory then you type a slash and a big v and a big o and a big l and now you are ready to press the tab key it automatically fills the name and then you start typing the first few letters of uh, the name here then you type l e and that uh, should meanwhile be sufficient and you type the tab key and it shows Leica backslash that's uh, in Unix it's the escape character uh, because uh, the blank is normally uh, interpreted completely different and so uh, I must say to the change directory command uh, the blank is no uh, th that the blank is a blank uh, and belongs to the whole uh, um, string okay so we have now this whole prompt there and now you can press enter and it shows now here in the title of terminal Leica SL2S that means you are now physically in the correct directory you can check this also by pressing a command P W D that means print working directory you are learning Unix now and it shows also here volumes like a blank minus sl2s and then you are sure you are at the right place and this is uh, crucial for the next whole commands because you are not in there uh, do not execute any of the following commands well the first few are okay only displaying some things but do not execute any commands which have to do with remove or erase files uh, from any file system okay uh, you can just can press now ls minus a l and the a is here the crucial thing ls mean means list then followed by a blank and with the minus la you just add some options uh, to the listing command a means show all files also the hidden files which are on a unix system always starting with a dot in front of the file name and that is the reason why oops uh, that's the reason why they uh, where have it, uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. That's the reason why they do not show up here and uh, because they are hidden files. So if you press this command, you see also <coughs> a bunch of um, file names uh, which you don't see here. And uh, I just figured out that these file names uh, interrupted the or disabled the update process on the, my SL2S. And uh, now we can remove these file names uh, within the terminal, within some commands in the terminal. You do not see here any changes here. And uh, after removing that, you can eject the SD card and then the firmware upgrade worked on my SL2S. So how to remove this? Uh, there is a command it's called rm remove obviously and then you see here all files starting with a d are directories 
and uh, all files starting uh, just with this uh, or just having this rwx in it are normal files. So the directories we must uh, remove recursively and that's the very uh, dangerous thing here because if you type something wrong uh, this uh, recursion goes back to the root directory which is the slash and deletes everything on any disk mounted to your computer. So do this correctly. Huh? Um, <clears throat> okay, let's start with the trashes. That means uh, we must minus R recursively everything of this. Then I press a dot and without, without pressing a blank, I press the capital T and because there is no other file here which uh, starts with the T I can ch just press tab and if the trashes show up delete that backslash it's correct then the next file you want to delete is this uh, dot volume icons it's dot v o press the tab volume icons that's perfect then this strange uh, uh, minus and minus volume icons and also the fs event d folder which is again a folder because there is a d so let's continue it uh, is uh, dot underscore that's the minus uh, or underscore file uh, and then um, dot underscore dot and now a capital v and then the tab key again, volume icons, and then additionally the minus fs event d subdirectory and this minus r is valid for all of this. So we can type in here dot fs and the tab and delete that uh, final uh, backslash. And now if you execute this command exactly like it's here, after have been changing into volumes like a sl2s or like a sl2, it's depending which camera you're using and ensuring you are in this directory by typing this command pwt and nothing else after uh, making this listing here you can now press enter zack and uh, it asks me now for overriding a uh, lot of things that's one thing i forgot you can cancel this by pressing uh, ctrl c and uh, just with the with, with the key upwards, you can recall the command and add a minus F, what means force execution. Otherwise you would have been now answering a thousand times uh, this, uh, do you really want to delete? Okay, zack, and now we are done. And uh, if I check this now, if the files are really deleted, you can press LS minus LA, enter, and you see, there are only the, the dot file, which is the current directory, then the dot dot files with its the, the directory back, and that's what it's crucial because you should not type a single dot here. Um, then there is the dsim, the private, and the settings are the settings I mean while saved uh, in the camera body. Uh, my profile settings I, I'm using there, and now you're good to go. If you know, simply Ah, yeah, I deleted also, that's um, that's the volume icons, is the, the icon I'm using, I delete, that's how it's shown, without my tweakings. Uh, if you now eject uh, this card, we get an uh, error message first, but don't worry, that's because we did not go back from 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 the directory here just press the change directory dot dot and press p type p w p w d for print working directory and you see you're now in volumes and no longer in volumes slash the camera name or the the name of the sd card and if you eject now it's working perfectly fine now you can remove the card put it into your like i said to s and execute the update. That's how I could make it work. So <clears throat> I wish you a lot of fun by doing this, if uh, in case of you have the same problems. Uh, and um,
please don't blame me if you deleted accidentally everything on your computer. Really do this only if you can follow along this tutorial. And uh, <clears throat> otherwise, uh, just find a computer nerd helping you or your next Leica store, whatever. What I assume is that is a problem uh, only occurring if you're working uh, in a Macintosh environment because um, Windows does not create uh, this, uh, all these uh, files, on uh, all these special uh, hidden files on the card. And for that, uh, these update problems should not occur if you're uh, copying the update image, the firmware upgrade image uh, to the card on a Windows PC. So <laughs> I wish you have fun with the upgrade and see you next time. And if uh, this uh, tutorial was a help for you, please uh, help the channel growing, like and subscribe and um, see you next time. Bye.